It's God's desire that everyone be saved. He wants everyone to come and know Him and to have a relationship with Him by faith. And so He sent His Son, Jesus, to die on the cross. And Jesus died on the cross. He arose on the third day. And because He lives, we can have a relationship with God by faith. What does it mean to have a relationship with God? Romans chapter 10 and verse 9 says that if we'll confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in our hearts that God raised Him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. And so there's a believing in our heart and there's a confessing with our mouths on the Lord Jesus. There's a turning from our sins and turning to the Lord and committing our lives to Him by faith. And God wants us to spend time in His Word, spend time in prayer, spend time getting to know Him. And as we do that, we become more and more like Christ every day. If you have a storm in your life, a situation that you can't handle, God can help you with anything that you're going through. Any situation that you may be facing is not too hard for God. God wants us to go to Him and say, Lord, I give you this situation. I cast my cares on you. When we cast our cares on God, God wants us to, by faith, begin to thank Him for that promise. Is God first place in your life? And if He's not, what adjustments can you make to make sure that you get there? He's a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. God wants us to come after Him not pursue the things of the world, but begin to pursue Him. When you get into the scriptures and you read stories, time and time again, you see where people begin to put God first. They really begin to trust Him, and God showed up in their lives. He brought about amazing transformations for these people. You look at the life of Abraham, and you see the flaws that he had, and how he made mistakes, but he got back to where he needed to be. And God began to use him, and he used him in a mighty way. But he had to go through certain things in his life, and he had to learn some things. And as Christians, we have to learn things, learn to mature in the Lord, and grow with the Lord, and let the Lord minister to you and help you to grow in your faith. It doesn't happen overnight. One of the awesome things about studying the Word is you learn the promises. Use those promises in your your prayer life, both that scripture, allow God to work in your life. And as you keep doing that over and over, time and time again, you get stronger in your walk with the Lord. And the scriptures begin to come alive in your life because you're speaking the word of God. God wants us to speak his word. When he was tempted by the devil, he began to quote the word of God. It is written three times he had to combat the enemy and he had to speak that word. And the word is what helped him when he was faced with opposition. Quoting the word is so powerful and it really does help when you're battling through a circumstance. As born again believers, there are promises in God's Word, and He wants us to learn the promises, to claim those promises, to believe Him for those promises, and believe God is going to show up. 1 John 1 and 9 says that if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. God wants to have a relationship with you. He wants you to know Him and to trust Him and let Him change your life. You have to allow God to come into your life and change your life. God wants to bless you, to help you, to encourage you. He wants your faith to soar like an eagle's. But you have to let God bless you and change you and change who you are and make you a new person. And that only comes through a relationship with Jesus Christ. Nothing else can save a person. It's a relationship with God. Being good doesn't save a person. When you give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ and you ask Him to come into your life, that's what changes it. Maybe you're watching today and you don't have a relationship with God and you want to make things right with Him. If that's you and you want to say this prayer, just say, God, I'm sorry for all my sins. I repent for them and I ask for forgiveness for them. I believe that Jesus died on the cross for my sins and that you raised Him from the dead on the third day. And Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I ask you to be my Lord and my Savior. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 
And so if you just said that prayer in a minute, I believe you just got born again, find you a good Bible-based church, some good Christian friends, get into the Word of God, develop a prayer life, and watch God change your life. Until next time, be blessed.